Hello, hello. It's Allison, and I am here with wet hair, as you will probably see me with a lot since I do not dry my hair um, for the most part. Um, if it's straight, I may have dried it, but I probably waited for it to dry. But that's not why we're here. We're here for a little daily motivation. So today I was thinking about procrastination, and I will always admit that I am a procrastinator. I put things off and sometimes not to the last minute necessarily, but um, to longer than I'd like to. So why do we procrastinate? That's the big question because that's why how we're going to move past it is to understand why we're doing it. Most people don't procrastinate because they're lazy. Do you think you're lazy? I don't know, you can tell me if you think you're lazy or just uh, you're not quite sure why you're procrastinating. Um, because I'm not really a lazy person. If I put my mind to something, I'll do it. I'll get to it. I'm not on the couch much. Um, I like to check things off my to-do list. But I do procrastinate on a lot of things. It's not so much the that you're lazy. It's fear of failure. And when I heard that a few days ago, it was like, hello, fear of failure. Yes, that's exactly what is, what is going on with me. I, you know, you don't want to start a task and not finish it. Is that you? Do you, is that how you feel? Um, you don't want to start a task and fail at it. So it's kind of easier if you just sit there and think about it. You don't do much for it. So I, but you still have to overcome that, right? So the biggest tip I have is to go and do one little step. One little step. Oh, thanks, I'll fix you. Oh. <laughs> I'm upside down. <laughs> is that what you're telling me? Well, I'm not gonna flip it right now because that seems like it would be super confusing. Um, so if you're here, mm, hello. Okay, now I have to hold it though. So deal with me on that. Is that better? Somebody tell me if that's if that's okay. Great, thank you. You gotta love live stuff, right? You gotta love a little uh, fun in the morning. <laughs> so. Um, I must have switched it when I put it on my my holder here. So, okay, so get started. Take one little step. All you have to do is one little step. Good morning! And if you um, take that step, break it down. So the overwhelming part is not getting started, right? The overwhelming part is the big goal at the end. So whatever your little task is, do break it into smaller tasks, do it one step at a time, and don't think so much about the big goal. I don't know how many Friends fans we have out there, but when Chandler was getting married, they put it into little steps. Okay, you just have to go here. You just have to put your suit on. You just have to go out the door. So take it like Chandler. Take one little step here, one little step there, and break it up. So make those little itty bitty goals your little bitty tasks and get through them. You can't fail at walking out the door. I mean, you can. I've fallen out of many doors. But you can't really fail that much at, on a regular basis at <laughs> falling out the door. So take those little steps. Remind yourself that procrastination is a fear of failure because knowing that is going to be such a boon to your productivity. All right, I'm working on it. I hope this helps you work on it, and I hope you have a great day, and thank you so much for letting me know I was upside down, because I don't wanna be upside down, at least not this morning. <laughs> so get to work, guys, and try and find those little steps. Have a great day. It's not swiping. <laughs> There's my job.